Hey gang, and welcome to our fabulous Let's Play room. So let's play some Radical Relocation, a game all about what I like to call car Tetris and essentially moving a bunch of stuff from one point to another. That reminded me of another great game that I played recently, so we decided to give things a little twist. And to help with that, please welcome my pal, your pal, IGN Zone, Brian Altano. Hey, Brian. Hi, Swain. Did you just call me to help you move? Because that's like, that's like we're friends, but like not like help you move friends. You know what I'm saying? I thought if you found this fun, I could easily parlay that into an actual move. No? Do you have a big move coming up that like you're trying to enlist me for? Because like pizza and beer doesn't cut it for me anymore. I'm almost 40. I, I get tired. I disassembled this entire set in San Francisco, strapped it to my car, and drove it here. So yes, we're gonna we're gonna turn this into a bit of a competition. You're gonna play another game, famously about moving stuff. You are gonna play Death Stranding, sir. I don't care if you're watching an hour of unskippable cutscenes. It's your job. This is what we're doing. And then you're helping me move. My goal is I'm gonna try and finish ten levels of R and R before you burn the president's corpse. Spoiler alert for the very first mission in. Death Stranding, which I believe is burning the president's corpse, right? I, if you put it like that, yeah, I mean, the, yeah. Sounds grim, it, yes. right? It sounds dark. <laughs> okay, so you burn the president's corpse. That's good for you. I'm going to play around in a delightful, low-poly world. So, Brian, have you played Radical Relocation? Have you gotten a chance to yet? No, Michael Swaim, I have not yet, but I'm very excited to because it involves all the fun stuff of moving, but with none of the back pain and the leg, leg cramps. It's whimsical, it's delightful. I love the soundtrack, I love the look. I've, I've completed a level, by the way. What did we say, 10 levels? Okay, so I've gotta get 10 levels in before you burn the president's corpse. I've actually beaten the first um, full page paragraph of text on screen at once so far. Um, I've gotten to the developed by Kojima Productions part of the story. Really? Because I'm deciding at which angle a box should rest on my car, which by the way, no straps, no bungee cords, nothing. Tell me your worst moving story, buddy. That'll be fun. When I first came to California like 11 years ago from New Jersey, I basically was like, I'm not gonna bring a bunch of stuff with me. So I mailed myself eight cardboard boxes. And one of the boxes, I literally only put a glass pot of coffee. No, not like with the coffee in it, but the glass pot, you know, that whole thing. And all of my socks. <laughs> And so I get to California and my boxes start showing up in waves and eventually I get my uh, first box and it is just a box of socks full of glass. <laughs> As you know, I just started at IGN this year and I literally moved the day, it was all set up and it just had to happen because I had to be in a new city. And I moved the day that they announced the stay at home orders in LA and San Francisco the first time. <laughs> Uh, by the way, two levels down, moving on to level three. You, you doing I'm good? I'm looking at a dead bird. Yeah, that's <laughs> similar. Sure, yeah. Ooh, I need my, where's my new home? Oh, I love the boat. This is like my, this just has some Animal Crossing New Horizons vibes to it, where it's fun to just be in the world. Uh, oh, wow, this is, yeah, you, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm actually in the world myself too. It's, it's way less of a nice day than the one you're having in there though. So yeah, I had to move right during quarantine, ended up leaving about a third of our furniture on the side of the road with a sign that said free. Similar to radical relocation. What do you absolutely need to live? In your case, the answer would have been socks and glass. I have reached a green check mark and my producer has told me I did not pack all the furniture in the boat and have to return. So I just bought you some time, dude. How are you doing? I've introduced, uh, our, we've been introduced to Sam. Are you like a talk? Like, are you a talking boat, or do you, you do? You be are you a soul that like in can inherit basically any vehicle, or like can you be a, a truck? And Absolutely. A boat and in my head, canon, this game is about a very helpful poltergeist who inhabits <laughs> vehicles in order to help people move during COVID times. We're almost out of time for this segment, which means I am lowering the bar to one more level after this, and I win. How does that sound? Does that sound fair to you? How are you doing over in Death Stranding land? Uh, I'm, I've seen some hand, like there's another disembodied poltergeist is leaving handprints in the sand. Really? So, oh, know, that, I know, exactly, I know exactly where you are. <laughs> Who's moving a bureau and a bonsai tree in a speedboat, in an unmanned speedboat? <laughs> <laughs> so James Bond is moving? I don't understand. Hey, so we talked about moving. What about your most radical moment? I have a good answer to this. I, I won double dare. You won double dare? 
So a few years ago at San Diego Comic Con, uh, they had Mark Summers uh, and a full like sort of miniature Double Dare set, and yeah. they asked me to be one of the contestants, and uh, we won. Wow! So that was pretty nineties. By radical. the way, while you were talking about whatever, I crushed you. I demolished you. This is over. I'm done. I, yeah, I, I've I've just met Lisa Sadu, so that's you know we're. We're, we're moving along, man. We're getting there. That's right. You got partway through the first part of the first chapter of the first segment of Death Stranding. Also a good game about moving. <laughs> but we're talking radical relocation. I want to thank Brian so much for joining me and basically just letting me dunk on him so we could show off this I, great I game. I love it. And a last bit of information before we wrap out the segment. Iceberg Games has been kind enough to allow me to tell you that radical relocation hits screens August 31st. 